Wilson. I would love nothing more than to get out of here before Vaughn comes back to life. But Damon won't take the cure. Yeah, he wants it for Elena. All right, look, just hang on a little longer. Caroline's calling class again. Stefan, we are past the point of Hail Mary phone calls. What do you want me to do, stand here and watch him die or force feed him the cure? Stefan. Remember us, Caroline. There are plenty more of these to go around. Who's next? I can do this all day. Because you need me. Because you're an 18-year-old girl without parents or guidance or any sense of right and wrong anymore. Look at you. How is this right? She's a murderer. She told me she killed someone and liked it. Now, how is that right? Listen, Elena, your parents led the council. It was their life's mission to keep this town safe. They weren't dead six months before you undid it all. You don't know anything about them. Why, am I wrong? Do you actually think that they'd be proud of you? If you don't side with the humans, you're just as bad as them. Now kill her, or I'll do it for you, and I'll make it hurt. Get up! I thought I'd taught you better than that. He did. Get help. It's okay. It's okay. It's me. It's okay. You're safe. We'll save Elena. You go straight home. You stay inside. Do you understand? Do you understand me? Thank you. It's just, as her best friend, it is my duty to warn her when she's making a giant mistake, right? And now she's taking Damon's side on everything. So being a vampire has changed her. But being a vampire only amplifies who you already are. It doesn't turn you into a completely different person. It's very peculiar. What's that look for? It'll all make sense eventually. Whatever, just, just hurry up and find the cure. I'm working on it. Did you ever take it? Now, why would I want to cure myself of being the most powerful creature on the planet? Hmm? So there's not one single moment in your whole life that you want to be human. How about you? <laughs> life used to be a lot easier. Don't you miss the days of being chair of the Mystic Falls Beautification Committee and the director of the policeman's yearly raffle. Is that my mystic application? When Where I did am, you get that? When I am chosen, I intend to redefine excellence. Now, I'm really enjoying your use of when here. Mm -hmm. It's very confident. Mm -hmm. And above all, I promise to aspire, inspire, and perspire. Obviously, we found a shortage yeah. of words ending yeah, inspire. Yeah, it's really very funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> Just <th> <laughs> <laughs> Tyler came to see me. Poor boy, he seemed quite distressed. He said Caroline had had a terrible accident. You made him do this to her. She would have never done something like this. I am here to help, Matt. My blood will heal her. Please ask the sheriff to invite me inside. I know how this game works. You want something in return. 
Just your support. Come in. Are you going to kill me? On your birthday. Do you really think that low of me? Yes. isn't obvious. Thank you. Lately I've been waking up alone Pain spotted teardrops on my shirt Told you I'd let them go And that I'll fight I'm glad you came. Well, is either caviar or sympathy casseroles. I heard about your father. Don't. Seriously. Very well. On to more mannered subjects than like how ravishing you look in that dress. I didn't really have time to shop. And the bracelet I gave you, what's your excuse for wearing that? You know, you're quite the dancer. Well? I've had training. I happen to be Miss Mystic Falls. I know. Oh, give me love, my, 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 my. Give me love. Klaus? Klaus? Kla Hello? Did you not hear me? Of course I heard you. Caroline, I think the whole of Mystic Falls heard you. I'm in no mood for company. Well, I'm sorry that you're having personal issues, but I have a real crisis on my hands. Elena stole my prom dress. I went to pick it up, and the tailor said that somebody else already did. And when I asked who, she said she couldn't remember. 
Hello? The Vervain is out of the town water supply. She was compelled. <laughs> it is not funny. <laughs> I know, I know. Then stop laughing. <sighs> Look, I know that prom isn't important to you, but it's important to me. Well, surely finding another dress is well within your substantial vampire capabilities. Oh, but I don't want just another dress. I want to look hot, like Princess Grace of Monaco, hot. So, could you please go back into your creepy trophy case of family collectibles and dig me out something of royal caliber? like horses. I'm not talking to you until you tell me why you invited me here. I fancy you. That's so hard to believe. Yes. Why? You're beautiful. You're, you're strong. You're full of light. I enjoy you. Well, I'm spoken for by Tyler. And I thought you two ended things. Yeah, because of you and your freaky sire bond with him. So you aren't spoken for. You know, uh, horses are the opposite of people. They're loyal. My father hunted me for a thousand years, and the closest he ever came was the day he killed my favorite horse. He, he severed its neck with a sword as a warning. Well, did you ever consider sitting down with your father and talking it out? No, I'm afraid my relationship with my father was a little more complex than yours. Maybe so. But I let my father go with no regrets. And to answer your question, yes, I like horses. But I also like people, and they actually like me, so I'll be inside. So, what did you want to show me? One of my passions. Oh, impressive. I take it the curators at the Louvre aren't on Vervain? Yeah, well, that's their mistake. Well, what about these? Where'd you steal this from? Well, that's a long story. But rest assured, it was worn by a princess almost as beautiful as you. Wait a second, did... Did you do this? Yeah, um... Actually, one of my landscapes is hanging at the Hermitage, not that anyone would notice. Have you been? I've never really been anywhere. I'll take you. Wherever you want. Rome. Paris. Tokyo. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> Must be really nice to just snap your fingers and get whatever you want. Is that why you... Place looks pretty good considering your hybrid got blown up in it. Caroline. To what do I owe the pleasure? I want you to give Elena back. Uh, they sent you to sweet talk me. Well, good form, but I'm afraid I can't do it. Why not? She needs my help. Look, I'm not going to burden you with the gory details. I know you have enough on your plate already. That's none of your business, actually. Yes. Well, just know that if Tyler was still sired to me, he never would have hurt you. I wouldn't have let him. Can I at least offer you a drink? Yeah. Thanks. How'd you get here so fast? I was already on my way. I received your graduation announcement. It's very subtle. I assume you're expecting cash? That, or a mini-fridge. 
I had considered offering you a first-class ticket to join me in New Orleans. But I knew what your answer would be. So I opted for something I knew you would accept. Tyler is now free to return to Mystic Falls. What? He's your first love. I intend to be your last. However long it takes. Congratulations, Caroline. <laughs> Let's get out of here before 12 angry hybrids decide to pick a fight. Hello, Caroline. Sorry, Matt's buried alive. No time to chat. Are you not even the least bit curious as to why I'm here? I literally just whooshed at the sight of your face, so no. Damon informed me that Katerina Petrova has taken a tragic turn. So you're here to gloat over her corpse to be? To delight in the closure of 500 years of revenge? Great, now I'm even less interested. Well then, perhaps you'd be more interested in talking about Tyler. See, did you... No, I sent him off with a little more than a bruised ego. He really does hate me, poor lad. Revenge, it eats at him. I hear you two broke up. Because I made him choose. Me or his stupid revenge fantasy. He chose wrong. I suggest that you learn from his mistakes and let Catherine die in peace. Dying sucks enough as it is, no need to rub anyone's nose in it. <laughs> Would you give me the same choice? What? Were I to abandon my revenge against Katerina, would you offer me the same choice as Tyler? I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. Y you can't do this to me. You can't just show up and distract me while my friend is in danger. You know, while you've been vamping off in all the wrong directions, I heard Matt's distant and desperate screams. Where? Don't worry, love. I've got it covered. Trust me, he'll be quite happy with his rescuer. So the quarterback has been saved. What now? Don't you have a dying girl to go punish for all of her sins? I do, but I won't for you. So you came all the way to Mystic Falls just to back off when I ask you to? No, I came all the way to Mystic Falls to gloat over a corpse-to-be, as you so poetically put it. But I will leave, minus the gloating, in return for one small thing. And what is that? I want your confession. My confession? I didn't do anything. Confession about what? Me. As soon as we're done here, I'm gonna walk away. And I'm never coming back. You'll never again have to look me in the eye and cover our connection with hostility and revulsion. You'll never have to loathe the darkest parts of yourself that care for me in spite of all I've done. I will be gone, and you will be free. I just want you to be honest with me. I'm in college. I'm building a life for myself. I have plans and a future and things that I want, and none of those things involve you, okay? None of them. No, you don't, because, yes, I cover our connection with hostility, because, yes, I hate myself for the truth. So if you promise to walk away, like you said, and never come back, then, yes, I will be honest with you. I will be honest with you about what I want. I will walk away, and I will never come back. I promise.
Good.